What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and back to our first experience showcases where I jump online and Undisputed and show you guys my first experience of every fighter. Now this is a bit of a different one, this is Canelo at middleweight. I'd already recorded a Canelo showcase at middleweight, but that was when he was an AEA overall. Luckily I got the same matchup, funnily enough, online against Carl Froch. But in the most recent update, which was yesterday, they put him up to a 90 over where he belongs at middleweight. This is correct, he feels like Canelo now at middleweight. You could use him when he was an AEA, but right now they have utilised him and what Canelo is at middleweight. Now he's had quite a few stat increases here, as you can see he's also got 4 traits, but his stat increases are his overall has obviously gone from an 88 to a 90, I've just got it on the screen here, that's why I'm looking over there. His vitality was increased from a 90 to a 92, which you can see on screen, stamina from an 85 to an 88. His speed was increased from 89 to 91, his strength was increased from 87 to 90, and his defence was increased from 87 to 92. He feels absolutely incredible. He doesn't feel overpowered. He can definitely get caught, rock, drop, knocked out, anything. But he feels fantastic. If we go across to his actual key stats there, let's see what ones jump out right off rip. Health regen, 95. Head health, 93. Body health, 95. 89 stamina regen and recovery and conditioning. Uh, 92 punch speed, 95 accuracy, 92 counter punching, 91 hooks, 92 uppercuts. 94 swelling resistance, 95 cut resistance, 91 chin resistance. One thing I'm going to say that I'm a bit disappointed in myself for this fight is I didn't throw many uppercuts. I was so zoned in on using the traits, which brings me to the four traits he has here, that I forgot to use um, any uppercuts at all, really. There was opportunities where I could have, but I, I think I used one and got rocked or something. It wasn't a great uh, showing for me, to be honest. But um, I wanted to mainly show the improved body work because that's what I was mainly focusing on for Canelo. Because he's got four traits body worker, bounce back, granite chin, liver destroyer. Body worker is increased damage of punches thrown to the body by 15%, so that's all punches thrown to the body. Bounce back is when gassing out, increased stamina regeneration by 20% until no longer gassed. Granite chin is reduced chance to receive flash knockout by 25%, but in turn, the negative to that is increased damage taken to block by 5%. And the final one, the new one that they've added, is liver destroyer. Increased damage of left hook punches thrown to the body by 30%, which is that, for Canelo being an orthodox fighter, that is that lead hand. Um, a really good fight, really, really really enjoyed using Canelo here at middleweight um he is outsized against most of these opponents you know he's a much smaller middleweight but I absolutely loved using him he felt like how I thought he was going to feel and that to me is very exciting so yeah I I'm looking forward to using him more but let's jump into it so probably the fighter with the most updates in the new update was uh Canelo Alvarez um and I'm looking forward to giving him a go and I'm going to be sinking in shots of the body big time. So I'm just going to be wearing down Frotch over these 10 rounds. I'll lose a few, that's fine. I'll lose a few rounds, I'm okay with that. I'll lose a few, I'll lose a few, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm happy to lose a few. I'm happy to lose a few rounds if that means I can wear him down. We are going to be absolutely tearing Frotch's body here across these 10 rounds. Nice, see that slip and counter there. Big combination at the end there. I reckon I'm tearing his body to shreds early, to be honest. I, I, I can see this not going his way. 
And I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to take my time. If that's what I have to do, that's what I will do. I'm going to cut off the ring. Absolutely sinking shots into him. And then I'm going to break away and then come back for the combination. He's got to be gassing a little bit. How you doing, Froch? How you doing, buddy? The one two body hook. Still going to be picking my shots individually. Not everything is going to be a combination. There's a lot of uh, action going on here, but Canelo's new update is massive and he feels great. In comparison to how he felt before at middleweight, he feels fantastic. I mean, I definitely had some wins of him at middleweight, but he feels fantastic now at middleweight. So now, this is going to be a different pace round, this one. It's going to be a lot of making him miss, a lot of seeing what he wants to do, and a lot of single shots. Just single shots. Just want to see what, what kind of pace he wants to set after two pretty fast rounds. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. There you go, some nice shots there. Put a little combination together. I'm going to stick to the single shots, but... There's no way he can keep up that having a body assaulted like that. For too much longer. You've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I reckon I have lost all three of these rounds which I am okay with because I reckon come round six or seven, he is going to be seriously struggling. Okay, two to one. Nice combination there. Mix it up to head and body. Use the jab there to get on the inside. That is 
gloves up to block the left jab. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. My lord, he has been getting assaulted. Ah, uh, always annoying to see the old, the old ghost punch, or at least the distance punch. Okay. Best attributes to have in box. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Assaulting him at the end there. But I gotta be careful, man. I gotta be careful. You know, is he gonna gas? That is that this was my expectation that he was gonna gas. So I don't know if he will or not. with the left uppercut. I slip to avoid the jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Just trying to slow him down, really. This is still my game plan. Just trying to slow him down. But he's able to eat a good amount of it. Yeah, I reckon his body is seriously hurting. Finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know very close round with 10 seconds to go. Okay, so if my plan pays off, he will gas within this round or the next round and be completely buggered. And he'll just be ripe for the picking. Yeah, he's gassing for sure. He is gassing for sure. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? And they figure out the combination to this safe. Oh, what a punch. I still got I still run the risk of getting knocked out by Frotch for sure. And definitely not out the woods just because he's tired. Oh no, Carl Frotch. What are the all-time greats, Carl Frotch? 
There we go. Uh, you know what? I had a feeling he'd either gas or he would become over concerned with his body. That's why I can't, that's why I refuse to just aim for one portion of the body. That's why, like, if I'm aiming for a person, I'm aiming for body and head. Or head and body. I'm not just aiming for the head and the occasional body shot. I'm not just aiming for the body and the occasional head shot. I know that I need to mix it up. I know that I need to mix it up. To head and body. Okay, I got some I got some headshots too. I've barely used the Canelo uppercut, that's really shameful of me. Nice five punch combo, all landing clean. Trying to assault the body still, but... Down he goes, there we go. It took me a few rounds to break him, but I've broken him. I have broken him, and not even dropped him with the body shot, man. I'm dropping him with headshots. I mean, I rocked him with the headshot the first knockdown, dropped him with the body, but every rock has been... Every round has been... Pretty, pretty heavy on them old, um, them old body shots, man. We've been work, we've been working him down. This Canelo feels great. I'm wearing the body down of Froch nice and early, mixing it up with the jab as well to get on the inside. What is he doing? What is he doing? I thought that was like a rage quit for a second then. I thought that was a serious rage quit for a sec. You do run the risk with Canelo with those shorter arms. That's the only only real weakness to him, really. That was just a real perfect combination. He, he, he put the hands up to the body, dropped the hands to the head, put the hands up, one shot to the body. I don't reckon he gets up. I reckon he just gives up here. Yeah, I don't even know if he tried to get up there. I reckon his stamina was just buggered. I reckon his head wasn't that good either. I reckon he was a mess, to be honest. Side of my face was a bit injured. Um, but you know what? For my first fight um, with the new updated middleweight Canelo, a lot of fun. Really, really a lot of fun. Um, he feels good against someone granite chinned like Froch to be able to do that to him. Felt pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, he won his fair share of rounds. I'll give credit where credit is due. Um, I mean, you'll have to excuse the hooks, really, but sometimes the punch stats don't tell the whole story. You know, you guys 
saw it and you know the, the reason i mention it is because obviously there's a thing going around with hook spam where people are throwing the same hand hooks and apparently it's been nullified in the update if you mix up the hooks well body and head body and head like in a combination people will never ever think about it as spamming people will always just think i gotta protect myself if you go body 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 10 times in a row people will be like oh f me it's just if you go body 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 head head and then move away the, you tend to see that players will just remember the shot that lands at the end, which would probably the last powerful headshot, and that's what you tend to notice. Uh, that's at least that's what I notice when playing the game. But all in all, a good fight. You know, he won his fair share of rounds. You can see round by round we we assaulted the body pretty pretty nasty. Some rounds were a bit slower than others where we didn't throw as much, but had a really high um, ratio of landing. Um, for example, 94 to 56 in round 7, 35 headshots, 21 body shots landing. Uh, and then you see slightly slower rounds like round 3, for example, where it's only 36 total shots landed out of 57. So, um, yeah, but again, a really high accuracy ratio. Really, really high accuracy ratio, to be honest, except for that final round where I just put pedal to the metal and beat the brakes off him. A bit disappointed myself for not throwing many uppercuts to be honest it just i wanted to test the new trait that he had and i just sometimes i just get sidetracked from testing things um and the power punches i didn't need them i didn't need them my power punches were all jabs i the three that i landed and the three that i threw i didn't need them i i just you just don't need them with canelo you know he d you know you don't need to load up unless they're against them ropes and i didn't really feel the need to load up in in that uh, all in all though a really good fight i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have drop a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace